In this tutorial, we're going to create what's called a jump link or an anchor link that will take us to a specific part of a post or a page with a little piece of code, not even a piece of code, a little word inserted in a particular place. So this page, for example, is a blog post with just some fake or some Latin text. Now we have this special link, this special word called best paragraph that I added into the content at the appropriate place. So we have the, the link itself to the page hashtag and that special word. Now if I hit enter to load the page, it will jump us down to the specific part of the text where I put that special word, which is right here. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how that's done. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. I try to answer the best I can. And this video is part of the WordPress skills playlist on my channel. In that playlist, you're going to find all kinds of WordPress skills that you're going to need to learn. And if you find this video helpful, you're going to find that playlist super helpful. So make sure you check that out. It's a link to it in the description down below. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab. We will help you get better WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your customers, and for your business. And if you haven't done so yet, click subscribe, ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. Now let's get started. To add the jump link, we want to go to edit post. We want to edit whatever post or page you want to add the jump link to. And in the post editor, find whatever block you want to jump to. I'm just going to choose this one, for example. You click on it, make sure the toolbar appears right above it, which means you clicked on it. On the right hand side, we'll see options for that specific block. You want to make sure you're on block, not post. That'll be options for the entire post. The block options are options just for this specific block that we clicked into. At the very bottom, there is the advanced section. Open that. And in the HTML anchor field, we want to add the text that we're going to have in the URL to jump to this place. In our case, I was going to call this best paragraph, implying this is the best paragraph on the page. And then we're going to add this to the URL so it jumps to this position. Let's click on update. And you can name this whatever you want, by the way. Just make sure there are no spaces. Just one long word. It can be numbers and letters, uh, dashes and underscores, but no spaces, no special characters. And now that we have that saved, let's go and view this page on the front end. Click on post, view the post. This is it right here. And it loads right at the very top, just as you'd expect. In the address bar, we now type in after the full URL hashtag, and we paste in the word or a string of characters that we put in the HTML anchor field. Just going to copy this whole thing to my clipboard so we have it. Now if I click on enter, it's going to jump right to that block. And if you're finding this tutorial helpful, click the like button because that helps this video show up for more people on YouTube so we can spread the knowledge and help more people with this information. So make sure you click like if you like this video. The forward slash after the URL doesn't have to be there. So we can delete that if we want to. Let's go back to the top and click on it again. And it's going to jump us down to where that best paragraph tag is and actually change the URL to include the slash. And that's okay. All I'm saying is your link can have either. It can have the slash or not the slash. And you can put this link in various places now. You could put this into a guest post you write for somewhere else. You could put this into another blog post. So if you're writing about something related to this, so if you're writing about something related to this post, you can say, here's a link to more information. I'll jump you right to the specific paragraph where you want this information or where you'll find the information. So you can make the user experience on your site much better by using jump links like this. And if you want to know how to add this to a menu, which you can also do, you can have it appear right up here in the menu system. I have a tutorial for adding links to a menu. You can check that out in the carp above or the description down below, and you can have this appear right up here. If you found this video helpful, you're definitely going to want to check out this playlist right here. It's the WordPress basic skills playlist on my YouTube channel. It'll answer lots and lots of WordPress questions for you. So make sure you check that out. And if you haven't done so yet, click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. My name is Bjorn Allpass in WP Learning Lab. Till next time, keep crushing it, and I will see you in the next video.